Hello everyone, I hope that you are all having a great week. So, first of all, I do know that my big fat head is totally in frame. I, as I mentioned last week, um, I do have a new camera, so everything is kind of trial and error right now. I do fix it towards the end, but I am very aware that it's extremely annoying. So, you get to see my glasses and uh, my frizzy hair. <laughs> so, it is a total pain in the butt, and I'm really sorry. Um... But I am in the middle of trying to figure things out right now. Also, if you hear any weird noises in the background, I am sitting right next to Bailey, who's my golden retriever puppy, um, and she's sleeping. But like, she's right next to me, so chances are she is probably going to make some weird noises. So just ignore that. It's her in the background sleeping. <laughs> so. Um, this week, I decided to go ahead and paint uh, again with my black and white gouache paint. Um, I started this week out on a, a pretty bad note, to be honest. I started a painting and it was going really well, but I don't know what happened to it, but it just it wasn't working out for me. <laughs> so I feel bad and I almost never like give up on a painting. But this one, I just kind of said, forget it. And I went ahead and I started this new one. Um, this one is, um, I don't know if you, like, if you have, like, Netflix or something, you've seen this actor all over the place. He plays the Punisher right now. And um, as soon as I saw, it, like, his picture on the Netflix home screen, I knew I had to paint him. He has such interesting bone structure and... His profile is very, very interesting and different, so I thought that it would be very fun to paint him, and honestly, I would not be surprised if I painted him again in the future because it was a lot of fun to paint this. Um, so far, I think that this is probably one of the strongest pieces that I've done in gouache. I'm extremely happy and very satisfied with the way that this painting turned out, so I'm kind of glad that the painting in the beginning of the week didn't work out. Um, but this one did take me a long time. It's, I think it took me between like nine and ten hours, which is quite a while. Um, obviously not all at once. It, um, my microphone is jiggling around, so if you hear any extra background noise, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, I just fixed it, so. Um, but yeah, this, this painting, it's only like a six by nine, and it ended up taking me like a good... I would say nine and a half, ten hours, but I really enjoyed myself when I painted this. It was so much fun. I really took the time to be a little bit more intricate. Um, unfortunately, towards the end, I wasn't able to record, like, putting him in, in, like, the five o'clock shadow or, like, his little beard or stubble or anything like that, but um, it was only just because of the camera angle I wasn't able to get it correctly because my again, my head was in the way, <laughs> but it wasn't really that big of a difference, and you'll see a photo at the very end of this video anyways showing um, what the finished piece looked like, but overall, I'm extremely happy with this piece. It's, it's kind of motivation to continue working in the sketchbook because I want to make more artwork this way, and um, I just, I had a lot of fun with this painting, and I can't wait to start the color pieces, even though I'm really nervous for it. I'm, I just, I don't know, I'm not ready. <laughs> um, but I do still have a good long ways to go in this sketchbook. I'm only, like, just halfway through, so I think I, I did the math and it's, like, 16 more pieces, um, you know, more pages in this sketchbook, so that's, that's a long ways. Um, that's about double of what I have now, so it's gonna be a while, <laughs> but I am really, really looking forward to, um, finishing this sketchbook. I'm already looking into different sketchbooks that are out there. I'm kind of debating between a Stillman and Burn and another Strathmore 500 series. You guys know that I love these Strathmore sketchbooks. That's what this one, um, that's the paper that I used for this video, and I think that it's just so nice quality and so beautiful. I just love working in it. Plus, it's a hard round sketchbook, which is very hard to find. And I like using them because I'm left-handed. And I find that the spiral bound just totally gets in my way and I hate it. I could use a soft bound, but I just like how sturdy the, the hard bound sketchbooks are. 
So the brand of gouache that I'm using is M. Graham. I really, really love this gouache. I think that it's gorgeous. Um, this is really the first time I've, I've used it, like, in this sort of situation. These black and white pieces are the only times that I've ever used a different type of brand of gouache. My old brand, I honestly do not even remember what it was called. It was kind of, like, an in-between artist and student quality, so it was decent. I mean, I'm definitely not complaining about it, but I just... I don't know, I found it difficult to work with, especially now that I've tried the M. Graham quality. It's just so luxurious feeling and I love painting with it. It's creamy and so highly pigmented. It's ridiculous. Like, I feel like the white is so strong, I only need a tiny bit and it makes a huge difference. So, I love it. Um, it's pretty affordable for two ounce tubes. Um, which is massive, especially for gouache. It was only $10. Um, so $20 for a black and a white that's going to last you forever um, is totally worth it. So I really, really enjoyed using those um, paints. I also, the last couple paintings I've done, I've used the Princeton Select paintbrushes. And um, these are new to me. I just found them actually at my at my local Hobby Lobby for a very, very good deal. They were like a dollar each, so I could not pass it up. <laughs> so I decided to give them a try, and they are so nice. Um, for a dollar, I mean, I could not pass it up. Um, and I actually looked on Blick and they weren't actually, they really weren't much of a different price. They were like a dollar fifty each. So I did actually repurchase some just to have, um, for when I ruined these. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think they're, they're great, great paintbrushes. The one that I use most is the size number four and it's a little bit smaller than a normal size number four and it's just a pointed round so it's um nothing special nothing different about it it's just like a, your basic front of the mill paintbrush um but if you're looking for a nice affordable paintbrush then definitely check out their princeton select they are very affordable and in my opinion, very worth it. The paint hasn't chipped off and it hasn't bent or or um, none of the, the hairs have frayed or anything like that. So it's still going strong <laughs> and um, I really do like it. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed the, this video and I'm totally looking forward to what I'm going to paint again for next weekend. And the next video I have no idea and it's already Wednesday <laughs> so it's going to be interesting <laughs> and I'm probably gonna have to figure something else out quick um but I really enjoy working this way I am a terrible procrastinator and um depending on my work schedule and my work week I really only have like two or three days to actually paint so yeah <laughs> it's it's definitely a busy um schedule but I really do enjoy it um, so I will see you guys next time and bye.